Okay. So we saw Grid on SolidWorks. We saw, we saw SolidWorks running on Grid. We saw Adobe running on Grid. We saw um, uh, Autodesk running on Grid. Uh, now I'd like to show you uh, another example of a grid application. And before we go there, let's roll a video of how the point of sales and how car companies would like their purchasing, depart purchasing experience to be. Isn't that amazing? Now that's the way Audi, a forward-leaning, technology-savvy company would like us to buy cars. And what you saw just now, that is not faked. That is all real. And it was created, I still remember years ago when, when uh, I went to visit him, uh, he, uh, he was already working on pieces of this and it was really quite amazing to see it come together. Um, to have the visionary who made this possible, they really implemented the whole thing, all of the technology. Obviously, it's, it's a wonderful experience. Obviously, it's not something we're going to enjoy in every single showroom. The amount of technology necessary to make that possible, you don't need just an IT department. You need a full engineering department. And so this is something that you can do maybe in 10 places in, in, around the world, but you're not going to do this in the 100,000 showrooms and dealerships all around the world for all of the different manufacturers. And so um, help, help me welcome Ludwig Fuchs. Where is he? There he is. Ludwig, good to see you. Ludwig is the founder, one of the co-founders and the CEO of RTT, Real Time Technologies. Your product, and he's so understated, his product, Delta Gen, is the standard for automotive styling and driving power walls for virtual design reviews and collaboration all over the world. When I go visit a car company, it's his Delta Gen that's driving all the demos. Well, uh, several years ago, Audi reached out to him and asked him to help reinvent the future of point of sales, to reinvent the way that merchandising is done and how people ought to enjoy cars. Tell, tell us about the experience. Why was it so important to Audi? What, would, what did they have in mind? And what are some of the technical challenges you guys had? Well, it was really um, Olympic spirit driving that, one could say. You know, it was opened uh, right, right with the opening of the, of the Olympics in London. And so they, they, they wanted to show how, how they see the future um, mm -hmm. of sales of the dealership, but they also wanted to, to underline their claim of Vorsprung durch Technik, so to be, to be ahead in, in, in making use of latest technology. I knew that. Also, mm -hmm. also in, that, in that respect. There are two people in the audience that yeah. I see who understood yeah. what you said, but nobody else. <laughs> 
but it sounded great. <laughs> 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 and and um, and the technical challenge of making that possible. Now, now, what are the what are the computing gear that you put into all these showrooms? What what did it take to do all that? Well, it it, it really took a lot, and in uh, a, a lot of hardware, um, um, a lot of people and resources driving that. But one also has to see that this does rely on on the fact of Audi. Um, already having Delta Gen or RTT mm -hmm. models in place, um, which they use for their um, configurator. But because they want to reuse that other. asset. They, they, they wanted to reuse uh, um, th those assets. So it, not everything had to be created from scratch. But um, it really was a, was a major effort. Mm -hmm. And like you say, um, now the challenge is to make this effort available to more people, to mm -hmm. more dealers, um, to more consumers. And, and that is really where VCA um, will, will help us a lot. Mm -hmm. So driving one the, of the economics. Things that our that, relationship uh, started when we moved workstation technology from these million dollar workstations to these PCs equipped with our GPUs. I mean, that's really when we started to know each other. And absolutely. we've been working together for years. And as a result of that, as a result of that, that discontinuity, that transformation, we made it possible to allow um, the type of experience that a few thousand people or a few hundred people in the world could have to tens of thousands of people in the world could have. Yes. And now you could yes. imagine these showrooms being around the world and you could, you could expose that capability to even more people. But these showrooms we're are still very complicated to build. But right? we'll, we'll the current become, showrooms. We'll become providers of visual energy, mm -hmm. right? Oh, I like that. We'll, uh -huh. we'll become providers of such energy and, and enabling um, Audi and others to really um, install new processes, new ways of interacting with consumers, mm -hmm. um, the whole customer journey, how it's called, with many, many touch point. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and that uh, has been, it has been underlined. I mean, hard to believe for petrol heads like you and me, but the, the, the smart guys from McKinsey found out that the digital sales experience has become equally important than the physical um, mm. one, just taking a look at things. So, and, and, and that really is the point here, um, to go into those new ways and, and us really um, bringing mm -hmm. the now, things to the table that, that um, make it happen. Now, one of the things that's really amazing is, is um, the digital experience. The, the last time I bought a car, it was using your configurator, and it was completely digital, sight completely unseen. Uh, they didn't even have a sh car in the showroom yet. I've never seen one at all, and it was all, it was all on your, your configurators. I chose the leather, the trim, I chose everything, and it came out, it, it was rendered beautifully, and it came out exactly the way I enjoyed it. And, and the thing that, that, that uh, we talked about that years ago, and, and um, hard to say whose idea VCA is, but VCA was really a germ of a conversation you and I had years ago. And, and the reason for that was we wanted to put graphics in the cloud. I mean, suppose we were to put these things, supercomputers, in the cloud, and we can now stream the output of the graphics to all of these thin clients or whatever computers they are, and it could just be an H.264. And years later, um, uh, we're here to, to show the world the, the, uh, the result of our collaboration, that, that you have um, finally uh, made possible this configuration, photorealistic configuration that we saw in the demo earlier, and we're going to show it to you now. Now, before I show it to you, this is what's, what's happening. Uh, Ludwig's, what he calls point of sales configurator, is running on the grid, and the grid is streaming to, uh, to uh, two devices. The first device is the tablet. The UI is being streamed to the tablet. So now you can control the tablet, we can control the tablet and choose uh, whatever it is that we would like to, whatever configuration we would like to have. The controls of that choice goes back to grid. The controls of that choice, all those, all those selections, streams back to grid. It instantaneously processes the information, captures the image, compresses the image, and sends the image back to if you were in a showroom, it would just be a normal television. It would just be a smart television, anything that can connect up an Ethernet cable to. It would render that image on the television, and in our particular case, we're going to put it up on the big screen. And so why don't we show it to them? So Ludwig bought, brought his, uh, his little demo. It's running on a, on a tablet here. 
And so show us, let's, let's buy something really cool. You and I both love cars. Let, let's get something that nobody's ever seen before. Um, yeah, we've, we've picked um, the, the R8. Um, uh, that's the only here. one we would, um, it's, that's it's the, the only, it's one, the only we would, one that you really and I would drive. Um, qualifies for, for our organization. Yeah, right. um, and um, obviously, V10, of we, course, we have, the we Lamborghini have V10, engine. We have um, silver, black, and But silver and is too things. pedestrian. Everybody has silver. But, Give me um, something else. We, we, we know that you have um, peculiar taste, and, and so we should um, go for, you know, maybe a broader range of colors yeah, that we yeah. have here. Yeah, there you go. Um, and um, so... Are you sure that's aggressive enough? Anything? Don't you like it? Oh, yeah. uh, okay, uh, there you go. There, there you had go. it. You had it. Yeah. There you okay. go. Something like that. So, obviously, we cannot only change the color. We also have a range of wheels available for you. Now, you could, you, could, this is, um, you could do this in 2D, though, right? This, uh, the experience that I, just, I saw, you could really almost do that in 2D. I mean, I see that on, you know, with Flash. OK, well, you can't do that. OK. Uh -huh. So 2D will give you a hard time doing that. Right? <laughs> no kidding. OK. Well, I want to I want to see I want to see the front view though. The front view? Yeah. Okay. The front view. Here you have it. Wow. Okay. Okay. But Here what about go. my leather? Did do we select my leather? The leather. Let's go to the interior. Um, pick some pick some leather here. But again, we should go for what is called Audi exclusive part here, and um, um, we can. Do some in individual look for your seats here. So um, give it some red as well. Pick those those parts. And so we have the seats, and um, equally we can change the stitching for the leather. Now, how do I know and this this isn't canned? I mean, can I now now can I go outside? Of course. And look, look let's, inside. Let's have I want to QA your. Let's, let's have a look here. So let's have a look around. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. That's not canned. And so the thinking and is that grid, um, the grid VCA could uh, be in some, uh, either the headquarters or it could be in, in, this, in, in one particular dealer. And through literally the internet, we can stream the outputs to all of its neighboring or all of its partner or its you know, sons and daughter dealerships uh, exactly. in a particular area. Absolutely. So we can connect those smalls. We can go into cities uh, um, easily um, and you know, provide an interactive experience. But also, salespeople can go out mm -hmm. and with, with the tablet. Oh, no kidding. Right, and, right. Of and, course. You know, visit you at home yeah. and show you, show you all the stuff. And render it right there on the tablet. Available. Right. Render it out, um, and then we can also send the information back and uh, create an individualized movie for you. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. you know, you can. Show now, of your course, kids, these these, uh, these digital kiosks or these digital point of sales, um, these future modern or the modern uh, uh, auto dealers, th th this is really something that they, they're really striving to do because it allows them to reduce their real estate cost. They don't have to have as many cars on the lot. Apparently, the, 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 the customization and the personalization of a car increases the value of the car to you, and so you're it's willing to pay more money for it. With, without a question, it's, more it, it, it's highly important. Between 50 to 90% of the margin per car come from whatever type of individualization. Is that right? That's yes. no kidding. Yeah. And so they reduce their inventory costs, they reduce their real estate cost, they enhance the user experience, and they enhance the margin, plus delivering a better, better experience to you. And lots of fun. Mm -hmm. Now, the benefit, of course, of this and, and the work that we're doing is now we could deploy into those 100,000 dealers around the world much, much more easily. But the idea of having to go into each one of the dealerships and setting up a workstation is just unfathomable. You cannot consider something like that. No IT department in the world would be able to do that. But however, now we, with us delivering this experience over to cloud, we could just ask people to buy a TV, Download an app, and they're good to go. Absolutely. Right? Okay. Thank, Ludwig, thanks for thank you us. very much. It's Thank great you. to see you. Congratulations. Good work.